right, let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. So, you know, it's caught my attention from the NBA expert himself that I always bring on the channel, and I'm probably going to start bringing him on for football too, uh, uh, from Brandon, uh, the Puerto Rican that we always invite on, you know, one of CEO's favorite uh, ho- uh, guests that we bring on. He sent me a list of ESPN's top 25 players in the NBA of the 2000s. Now, I'm going to read this list. I don't feel like putting it up uh, on the uh, – on the uh, screen, but let's uh, read this list off uh, one by one. So we're going to start from one to 25. Number one, LeBron James. Number two, Kobe Bryant. Number three, Steph Curry. Number four, Tim Duncan. Number five, Shaquille O'Neal. I think that top five is amazing. Bron, Kobe, Steph, Tim, Shaq. No problem with that. Starting off good. We're going to go through six through 10. Six through 10 is Kevin Garnett, Nicole Jokic, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Durant, Dirk Nowinski. Now, I think Nikola Jokic needs to be above. Uh, I think Nikola. I think Dwayne Wade and Nikola Jokic need to be above Kevin Garnett. I think. I think Kevin Durant needs to be above Kevin uh, Garnett, and Dirk. I think Dirk needs to be above Kevin Garnett too. And then, honestly, in number eleven, before we get into a. Uh, uh, 12 to 15. Number 11 is Giannis. I think Giannis needs to be above Dirk. Hmm. I think he needs to be above Dirk. Ah. I'm not mad with 6 through 10, 6 through 11, but I would probably switch it up. But I'm not mad at the names on there. So, like I said, repeat myself. Number one is LeBron, two, Kobe, three, Steph. Four Tim Duncan, five Shaq, six Garnett, seven Nicole Jokic, eight Wade, nine Kevin Durant, uh, uh, nine Kevin Durant, ten uh, is Dirk, and eleven Giannis. I might switch those guys up, but fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Number twelve Steve Nash, number thirteen uh, James Harden, number fourteen Jason Kidd, number fifteen Chris Paul, sixteen Kawhi Leonard, seventeen Mono Ginobili, eighteen Allen Iverson, nineteen uh, da- uh, Anthony Davis, twenty Ray Allen. Okay, I think I like Jason Kidd. I think he's way too ah. Uh, he did take a team to a fun. I'm taking CP three. I'm putting first of all Kawhi Leonard should be in the top fifteen. I'm sorry. Kawhi should be in the top 15. There's no way you put Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, James Harden, and Chris Paul Paul above Kawhi Leonard, a guy who's took two teams to the finals and won two finals MVPs. Sorry, you can't do it. He needs to be in the top 15. Uh, Jason Kidd needs to be lower. Don't have a problem with him being on this list, but he needs to be lower. Nash, I would probably put him in that 15 range, back-to-back MVPs. Whether he deserved them or not, not, don't got a problem with that. Chris Paul deserves to be in there somewhere. James Harden obviously deserves to be in there somewhere. It is what it is. Number 20, Ray Allen. 21, Parker. Number 22, Draymond Green. Number 23, Russell Westbrook. 24, Pau Gasol. Number 25, Luka Doncic. Okay. Tony Parker should not be on this list above Kyrie Irving. I'm sorry. There's no way. Luka Doncic, and this is from the 2000s. So we're starting from 2000 all the way to 2024. Why is Kyrie not on this list? The guy who – and you know what's crazy, right? Let me let me start sharing my screen now, actually. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it funny how I dropped my Kyrie Irving video a couple days ago and they did, and ESPN has the nerve to sit here and disrespect Kyrie once again? Once again, Kyrie gets disrespected. Go check out my uh, Kyrie Irving video. I'll go to Most High for blessing me to make that video. But – Kyrie Irving gets disrespected again. I get Luka is on the rise. I get it. I understand it. Why is he above Kyrie Irving, who's a champion, who's been to more conference championships, who's been to more finals? It is a big reason why Luka Doncic was even in the finals. I get Luka went to a conference finals without him, but let's be for real. Luka needs a co-star. How is Kyrie? Kyrie went to a... Technically, he went to a conference finals without LeBron and Luka. If you want to count that Boston Celtic year, he just got injured. Listen, there's no way in hell you leave Kyrie Irving off this list. How? In what world do you leave Kyrie Irving off this list? 
How do you leave Paul Pierce off this list? For Luca? For Tony Parker and Mono Ginobili? What? You leave Paul Pierce, you leave Kyrie Irving, and you leave uh I forgot who the other name I just said. And you leave them off this Chris Bosch. You leave Chris Bosch off this list for Kyrie for, for uh Luca Doncic, uh Tony Parker and Mono Ginobili? And even Jason Kidd. I can somewhat understand Anthony Davis being on this list. Jimmy Butler. You leave Jimmy Butler off this list? For 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 you leave, you put Ginobili, you put Tony Parker, and you put Luka Doncic and Pau Gasol. I have no problem with Pau, but still, like and you leave Kyrie, you leave Paul Pierce, you leave uh who else did I just say? Jimmy Buckets, who's been to th- two finals and three conference championships. And you leave him off this list? Damian, uh, I mean, shoot, I'll probably, I'll probably put Dame on this list above Ginobili and Parker. And maybe even Luka, too. Uh, not, 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 not probably Luka, but you get the point. You get the point, though. Like, I'll say from 1 to 20 is good. Also... You put Draymond Green on this list, but leave off Clay. What world? You put Draymond Green on the list, which I have no problem with. If you want to put Draymond on there, fine. But how do you leave off Clay? And I know I've been taking a massive dump all over Clay Thompson throughout the last couple of weeks, but we're talking about from 2000 to 2024. Clay Thompson had just as much to do with those Golden State teams as much as Clay Thompson. No sense. I mean, uh, Clay Thompson had much just to do as Draymond Green. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, listen, man, ah, this list, I mean, not a bad one, ESPN. Not a bad one. It's better than that BS one that you put out, uh, I think, a week ago. But you know what? Not not a bad one. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'll give this a 6.8, which is good for, from the fuck, from the two that you be putting out. So, you know, it is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? What's your thoughts on this ESPN list? Uh, and what's your thoughts on your top 25, on the top 25 list? RJ out.